Now this is street food. <laughs> Good morning. We're here in Lima, the capital of Peru. Today we're going on a very special adventure. We're going to be trying every single food that was featured on the Netflix street food series and more. Lima, Peru is known for its seafood and its street food. So we're going to be taking you along with us on this day of eating and drinking. The first place that we're going to is El Toge Pass, which was featured on a Netflix series. The chef is Peruvian Japanese, so I think the food has some kind of Japanese influences. We both got the combinado, which consists of ceviche, calamari, and fried rice. Very excited to try. The queue isn't so bad at 12 p.m., but the restaurant is very small, so come here early. We pre-ordered our food outside the door and once we got a seat, we got our platter. So I think it's a pretty standard platter. Most people seem to be getting this. We get a taste of like the ceviche, the chicharron and the fried rice. It comes with mayo and picante sauce. It is hot. I think I'm going to try the ceviche first. There's some fish and squid inside. Maize, some toasted corn and sweet potatoes. Very traditional ceviche in Peru. Try the fish. Mm. The fish is fresh, the legend tea grape, sour and savory. Has a seafood taste. Very delicious. Mm. It's good. Ceviche in Peru, there's nothing quite like it in Singapore at all. And this is the chicharra, which is calamari. I'm going to try it by itself. Mm. The calamari is sliced very thin. The batter is light, crispy, very easy to eat, very delicious. I think the best thing here is the calamari. Somehow the batter is super thin and flavorful, but the squid still maintains like a soft, not so chewy texture. I don't know how he does it. It's incredible. I'm pretty sure in Peru, the food is just all about the purity of ingredients. Uh, it's totally raw. This is barely fried. Really, really delicious. The last is the fried rice, which um, honestly looks a little bit wet. I don't know. Then give it a try. Mm, it smells like a pie, uh, actually. The fried rice is very tasty, has a very seafood taste. It's not really like a Chinese fried rice. It doesn't have like the wok hay, it doesn't have the dryness and the graininess of normal Chinese fried rice. It tastes very similar to a paella. There's a different way of cooking it. I think he fries up all the seafood first, puts the rice and then lets it steam like a paella after that. So it's a bit special, but very delicious. You definitely need to come here to try it. You get a sampler of like very typical Asian Peruvian food over here. Alright, that was extremely delicious. It was so delicious. Every single part of the meal was just like a better version of whatever it was. Better paella, better, better calamari, and, and better ceviche. ceviche. Like it went together so well. You get the sourness and the ceviche. You get the seafoody fried rice, and then you get like crunchy chicharron. So, oh. does it live up to the hype? It does live up to the hype. It's very, very delicious. The only observation, though, is that all the customers are tourists. That is true. Where did the locals go? Yeah, but if I was a local and that was my favorite uh -huh. restaurant, and now all these tourists are coming. I wouldn't eat there anymore too. Really great, really delicious. Good start to the day. On to the next food. Okay, 
Okay, so we stopped by this street stand while doing our errands and we saw that it was very popular and the name of the shop on Google Maps is the best churros cart in the world. That's his name on Google. And it's run by this man and his tiny churros cart. People stop their car in the middle of the road to order multiple packets. So we gotta try it. It's three soles for one bag like this. We haven't had churros in a while. It's crispy, freshly fried, coated in sugar. Oh. Wow, oh, that's really good. It's very crispy on the outside. The inside is chewy. It's very light. It's a bit salty on the inside too. So it contrasts with the sugar coating. I wish there was some cinnamon, but this is really good. Oh. The best churros cart in the world. Give it a try. <laughs> it's really, really good. We're now back at Mercado Central because we're still hungry. The first thing that we saw coming to the market was more anticuchos, which is cow heart. But here, they uh, cook the cow heart together with a lot of things. I think it looks like uh, other kinds of innards. Um, there's some delicious looking scallion spring onion chili sauce. And underneath it's uh, some boiled potatoes. First thing I'm going to try is the innards because this is special. I've never seen it before. He seared everything on a hot plate. The fire was like 10 feet high. It smelled amazing. The smoke was going everywhere. I think I need to change my clothes when I get back. But oh, smells amazing. Even the lady knows it's delicious over there. Crunchy, charred, salty. It has a texture of ligaments, but not quite as tough as the one that we had in Ecuador. Oh, delicious. I'm gonna chase that with some of the chili. Wait, chase? Of course not, I'm gonna eat another piece. Oh. It might be really spicy. Oh. Spicy, fresh, really spicy. Be very careful. But now, for the start of the show, Anticuchos is a satay made from beef hearts. What more could you ask for? <laughs> oh! The texture. From the only thing you've ever tried. Almost like perfectly cooked liver. Really good. The char is amazing, the sauce is amazing. Everything is amazing. When you come to Peru, you must try Anticuchos. Especially here in Mercado Central. Time. And we're now at Kennedy Park, which is actually named after John F. Kennedy, the famous American president. So this park in the evening is very lively. There are a lot of people walking around. There are a bunch of kids trading soccer cards or something. I'm not sure what cards those are. The park is actually known for two things. Cats. There are tons of cats everywhere. And there are many people feeding the cats as well. And also known for this, which is Picarones from Picarones Mary, made famous by the Netflix street food show. So Picarones is a, I think it's like a Peruvian fried donut. You can see it's like in rings and then it's covered in like some sort of sweet sauce. There's a cat here. So you gotta give this a try. It reminds me a bit of like onion rings. It's very irregular shaped. Three entire bags of Funyuns. Funyuns are awesome. I'm gonna dip it in the sweet sauce. Mmm. This one's a little bit more dense. There's some a little bit of crisp in it, but I'm not sure if it's meant to be more crispy because it's been left out for a while. But the inside is a bit more dense. It's a bit more chewy. Mmm. 
The sauce tastes a little bit like maple syrup with some spices in it. Mm. It's very delicious, very good snack for the park. Besides Picarones, there's a bunch of other stalls selling various kinds of food. And one of the famous foods in Peru is batifaras, which is a type of sandwich. It seems to be encased in some French baguette type of bread. It's very crusty on the outside. And on the inside, ooh, you've got, um, I think we've got the mixed dough, which is uh, various kinds of meat. You got chicken, pork, lechon, as well as turkey. It looks really delicious. It looks like smothered in mayonnaise and some kind of chili sauce. It's got um, lettuce and some raw onions on it as well. It smells like a baguette sandwich. It's a very popular food in Peru, so I'm just gonna give it a try now. Mmm! Okay, the bread is not dense at all. Super fluffy. The meat, moist, tender, salty, juicy, delicious, but the sauce, the sauce is what makes it. It's a mixture of mayonnaise and chili sauce. It's got a bit of garlicky taste as well. Mm, very delicious. It's a great dinner and snack food. Don't take too big bites. The bread will cut the inside of your lips, but incredibly delicious. Great place to come in the evening to sit and watch people walk around the park, enjoy, very local place, and yeah, I'm gonna polish off this sandwich now. See you guys at the next food. So right across from Kennedy Park is one of the most popular <laughs> fast food restaurants in all of Peru. La Lucha Sangocheria. They sell various kinds of uh, traditional sandwiches, which seems to be a very popular food here in Peru. They have multiple outlets in Peru and all around the South America region. And Bloomberg actually called it one of the top 10 fast food chains in the world. You gotta try it when you're here in Peru. Gracias. So our order has arrived. By the way, this place is crowded. It's filled with locals. I think they're locals. And the orders are just like flowing non-stop. So somehow, the Peruvians really like the sandwiches. We ordered uh, the signature, which is the chicharron. It's a bun filled with chicharron and sweet potatoes. Very interesting combination here. It also comes with a side of onions. I'm just gonna try it by itself. Oh, there's like a big lump of fat. I'm gonna avoid that. Mm. The bun is a bit crusty. The chicharron is very, very tasty over here. And the sweet potatoes actually complement it quite well. It gives it like a little bit of sweetness to cut through the fattiness of the pork. I think you need to put this bunch of onions inside here. And typically it comes with this ahi sauce, which is chili sauce. Yeah, there's no pork. Mm. It's really delicious. It's a really good sandwich. I can see why the locals like it. Easy, fast, delicious. Definitely get some chicha. I can't believe I was so puzzled by this drink when it's just so common over here. I don't know why it's so expensive. Maybe it's rare. You must have drank like at least like 100 cups of chicha already. Oh, so good. Delicious. The fries are very good as well. They're thick cut fries, but then they're fried to a crisp and super tasty. Delicious! Thank you very much for watching our video. If you enjoy our content and would like to continue following our journey across South America, please remember to like and subscribe. Cheers! Really good. <laughs>